honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Hope and Callie. Don't just sit there, Poppets. Let's get the toys out. That's the way. Oh, wow. And I would eat over my dinner. No, 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 said the king. Why don't you come for a banquet at our castle? <gasps> That'll be far tastier than us, eh? Well, we've got Hope here, and we've got Callie, but someone's missing from Granny's house today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny's today? Ah, uh, it's Rebecca and Mickey John. <laughs> Hello there. Mickey John. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look, are you doing it by yourself? Come and join in the fun, Rebecca. What's going on? Well, the children are playing with the wee people and making up stories about kings and queens. That's a fantastic idea, Granny Murray. That's just what I'm going to do with my class at school today. Make up stories about kings and queens. Oh, you copycat. <laughs> Here, that's a good idea. Why don't you dress Claude up as a queen, Snowflakes? Oh, let's have a wee sit down. How about this for a story? There's a king called Peter and a queen called Jasmine, and they both live in space. Space? Yeah, on a meteorite going three trillion miles an hour. Oof. There's no food there, and they both have two long, sticky-up antennae that spin round like yo-yos, and they only eat paparazzicals. <gasps> paparazzicals? Queen Jasmine has three gigantic crowns. Oh, I'm a bit lost. Well, so were the king and queen, because their map was made of banana, and a monkey ate it. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not really following your story. No? You see, I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Mm, I see. And I can picture where Claude should be now. <laughs> On a throne. <laughs> <laughs> you look great, Claude. Uh, I mean, your highness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this? My own little king to take to work with me. You gonna hug for daddy? Ah, oh, lovely. Well, I better be getting to school. Have fun with your stories. <laughs> now remember, I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <laughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the dock now, splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, 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 put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. Rebecca's king would make a great character in a story. I am the dancing king, and anyone who messes with me will have to dance the way I dance. What do you have to say to that? Mickey John. Oh, oh, hi Rudy, I'm uh, just making up a story for my class. <laughs> it sounds brilliant. I just brought back your audio tape though. Oliver Twist is brilliant. Oh yes, it's one of my favourite stories too. That Charles Dickens is a brilliant author. He really brings the characters to life and you can really picture them. I like Fagin. Oliver, my dear, you can trust old Fagin. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like stories, why don't you come back later? I'm making up a story with my class today and then maybe you could tell it to Jack tonight? Sounds brilliant. I'll get Toby to look after the stall for a bit and pop back later. See ya. <laughs> I love making up stories. I wonder what stories Rebecca's making up with Granny Murray. Just...
to you. Do you want to sit on the throne? Come on then, good girl. <gasps> Wait till you meet the beautiful Princess Rebecca. <laughs> if only your dad could see you now, eh? <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. Come along, let's have you. Today, we're going to be making up kings and queens stories. So I want you all to draw characters that you might find in that kind of story, such as uh, kings or queens, princes or princesses, or soldier guards. Now then, let's have a look at what you've done. That's fantastic. Is that your knight, is it? He looks very brave and, uh, oh, and a little princess there as well. Right then, who do we have here? A queen. She's very tall and skinny, isn't she? I think that's a good idea for a story, isn't it? A tall, skinny queen, I like that. Now, what have we got here? A knight, yes, yes. Looks like he's a guard of the castle, doesn't he? These pictures are going to make an absolutely fantastic story, and I'll tell it to you later, but there's lots of schoolwork I have to get through first. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read Learn about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away Oh, the secretary's smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps her shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew answering the questions where and why how does it work and how does it fly I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing I take a look and mark their books The good ones get a smiley Joy when I go to school in the morning. All alone. Hi, Raymond. What are you doing here? Waiting for Tina to give me a lift to work. She's bringing back some of the children from swimming lessons in her taxi. Does that mean you've got a moment? I need some help to scan the kids' pictures into the computer to make up a story. Lead me to it. Come on, then. OK, Raimondo. I'll put the pictures in the scanner. You work the keyboard and check them on the monitor. It's just like putting on a show. Go for it, Mickey John. Oh, the king! I'm very, very busy right now. I need my royal crown and a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Here we go. Oh, the queen! My husband and I enjoy skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, the prince. Um, yo, dude, where's the party? <laughs> Oh, that's going to give me so many great ideas for the story. Oh. <laughs> I'm not interrupting, am I? Ah, there you are, love. Shall we go? Well, I think so. You don't want to miss your train, eh? No, no quite. I hope the story is fab. Got to go. <laughs> I wonder what the story will be. I wonder how Rebecca would make up a story. Love to eat jelly. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's eat some jelly. That's the way. I bet your dad wishes he was eating jelly on a plate. <laughs> Can you see me? Okay, 
There was once this king and this queen, right? And uh, the king was big and covered in gold, and the queen was little and uh, covered in silver. <laughs> Great characters. Oh, hi, Rudy. I'm just thinking about who's in my king and queen story. You don't mind if I record it for Jack, do you? Not at all. Make yourself comfortable. Now, what are the characters in my story like? The king had a big fat tummy, and the queen was as thin as a rake, and uh, the king smelt of cheese, and the queen smelt of custard. Uh, I, th I think the characters in your story are brilliant, Mickey John, but you haven't told me where they are, so I can't... Picture it. Oh, I'm still working out who's in my story at the moment. All right, well, maybe I'll pop back later when you've thought about what actually happens in the story. Uh, well, actually, have you got any ideas to make the children want to listen to my story? I don't know. You need action, things to happen. I want to know where the characters live and work and get on with their lives. Work it out and I'll be back later to listen. Oh, my class will be back at any moment. Oh, gosh. Rudy's right. I've worked hard all morning to tell a story about a king and queen. And I know who's in the story, but I don't know what happens. I haven't got a story. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. The children helped dress up Claude as a queen, because Granny Murray wanted to make up stories about kings and queens. I thought that was a great idea for my class, too. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Rudy popped in to return a story tape he'd borrowed and he wanted to come back later and hear my king and queen story too. At nine o'clock, my class arrived and we drew pictures of the characters who were going to be in our made-up story. At 12 o'clock, Raymond called by while he was waiting for Tina to give him a lift. He helped me scan the children's drawings into the computer, ready to be the story characters. At one o'clock, Rudy came back with a tape recorder to record my made-up story. He liked the characters, but he didn't understand what was happening. He wanted to know what the story was all about. Now remember, I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Of course, Granny Murray's right. What I need for my made-up story is a place to put all the children's exciting characters. I need a place that everyone can picture, especially if I take photos. And I think I know just the sort of place that a king and queen might live. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Well, I don't know about you children, but I think I'm ready for the made-up story. Me too. Hi, Rudy. Would you like to take your seat at my desk? OK, this is the story of King Peter and Queen Jasmine using your pictures and my castle. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen who lived in a big castle. In the castle, they had lots and lots of people to do everything for them. The trouble was, the king was a little dreamy. And whenever lunchtime came and the queen sat down with all the princes and princesses and the footman carried in the gold plates of big potatoes and big beans, the king was never there. He was always outside on the battlements, dreamily thinking about all sorts of other things. So the queen had a problem. How could she let the king know that it was time for lunch? Well, the queen called everyone together and she asked, how can we let my dear husband know that it's one o'clock? Everyone scratched their heads in puzzlement for a very long time until a little drummer boy piped up. I think what she should do is fire the cannon at one o'clock every day, and then the king will know that it's lunchtime. The queen thought this was a brilliant idea, and so every day the cannon was fired. <laughs> and the king was never late for his lunch, and the cannon has been fired at one o'clock every day since. Amazing, wonderful story. <laughs> 
queen of hearts, she made some tarts all in a summer's day. The knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> That's silly, isn't it? I'm only kidding. The right here. Who fancies a jam tart? <gasps> oh, they're delicious. We'll save one for Dad, Rebecca. <laughs> John. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, have you had a lovely time? You bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, my oh, clever girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Save the day. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, the children dressed Claude up as a queen because we wanted to make up king and queen stories today. We made my living room into a gorgeous palace. It was just the sort of palace that a real king and queen would like to live in. In fact, it was rather like the River Sea Fingal Castle. Then we had a delicious banquet with jelly. Later, I dressed up as the Queen of Hearts and we had jam tarts for tea. Do you like making up stories? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs>